only on three, suicide or homicide. Experts still can't agree how a teacher died in her Maniunk apartment nine years ago. But her family is fighting for answers, and today new evidence is being shared exclusively with Eyewitness News. Matt Petrillo is live at the Criminal Justice Center with the new developments. Matt? Well, the Greenberg family's long struggle is finally headed to trial. The reason is they're pushing to they're pushing the city's medical examiner's office to change their daughter's death certificate from suicide to homicide. This is a homicide case, and it's indefensible as suicide. Center City-based attorney Joe Pedraza is set to face off with Philadelphia's medical examiner's office in court over the mysterious death of Ellen Greenberg. This is an only child who is very close with her parents. Back in 2011, Greenberg was a 27-year-old teacher living in Maniunk with her whole life in front of her. But she was found dead with 20 stab wounds to her body inside her apartment at the Venice Lofts. The Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office initially ruled it a homicide, but months later changed it to suicide. The Greenberg family never bought that their daughter killed herself. We haven't been sleeping for nine years. Now their attorney is using a technology called photogrammetry to prove the case is a homicide. So that wound had Sharing these images exclusively with Eyewitness News, Greenberg's legal team recreated her anatomical and physiological attributes, showing it would be impossible for Greenberg to stab herself in the back of her head multiple times. One of the wounds was so deep it would have paralyzed her. Which means she could not have completed the remaining wounds. How powerful is this evidence? I think it's so powerful that it's clear to me that there's a murderer walking among us, or murderers, and that is frightening from my vantage point. And the attorney also tells us that photogrammetry is not the only evidence that points to Ellen Greenberg's death as a homicide. We're talking to a second expert. Hear from him coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. We're live in Center City. Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, we'll see you then. Thank you.